Hi, in this video I want to teach you how to make this beautiful hat. It's made with a broomstick lace stitch. It's in combination with the scarf that I did in the video before this one. It's uh, a circular scarf and it's a beautiful combination. And you can make this hat in different color uh, or a mix of color like this one or uh, uh, one color. This hat will be good for a baby, a teenager, an adult, anybody. And remember, this will make a beautiful present, uh, either for a birthday or now. It's almost time for to start making those beautiful presents for Christmas. And this will make a gorgeous present. Uh, well, let's start with a list of materials you're going to need to make this beautiful hat. To make this hat, the jar that I'm going to use is from Loops and Thread Charisma. It's 100% acrylic and it's 100 gram. It's bulky 5 and the color is number 39 or Cascade. It says that you can use up to 8mm crochet hook and I'm going to use a 6mm. It's exactly the same one that I used for my scarf. I'm going to use the same uh, netting needle that I used for the scarf. This is a 25mm. If you don't can find one of these needles, you can use a ruler or a PVC pipe. And if you don't can find any of them, you can use the broomstick. Uh, you're going to need a tapestry needle to sew uh, the hat together. So let's start making our hat. Something that I want to mention, if you are making this hat for a baby, you'll have to use a smaller uh, netting needle to make the design because it will be too big for a baby. This is more for a teenager or an adult size hat. To start I'm going to start with a slip knot. And we're going to do a multiple of five chain for the head circumference. So for mine will be around 65 chain and if you're using a thinner yarn you probably will need to use more chain from 65 to 70 for mine so I'll meet you here when I have mine done to know the circumference at the head of the person you're gonna do what you're gonna do I have here my 65 chains but this is more like for a teenager size uh, foam head so I'm making an adult size so for you or for the person you are making the hat you're gonna measure around the circumference where the hat will go and it's of course loose for this one because it's for an adult that I'm making my hat so like that you will measure the circumference of the head for the person that you're making the hat and for me is 65 to start we're gonna chain three and that's gonna count as the first double crochet now in the fifth chain from the hook we're gonna do our second double crochet and now we're gonna do one double crochet in every chain space when we finish this row, we'll have 65 double crochet. And remember, if you are using a thinner yarn, you will have to do more chain. The same if you're using a smaller crochet hook. Mine is a bulky 5 and a 6 millimeter crochet hook, and that's why I only need 65 chains. So I'll meet you here when I have my 65. Here I have my 65 double crochet. If you're working with a thinner yarn, if you want to do this wider, you can do three rows. Uh, it had to be three because you have to be here in this corner where you're facing the right side. This is the wrong side, and this one is the right side that we're going to be working with. And then you're going to pull the loop. You're going to pass your needle or whatever you're using to do this stitch. And you're going to pull the tail. 
And now you will see here that you have these two strands of yarn. You're going to be working in the back strand of yarn. You're going to pull in that loop. And the part, this strand of yarn in the front is the one that is attached to the ball of yarn. When you pull, you'll see that's the one that will get smaller. So you're going to continue doing this in, until you have all the stitches done in a loop on your needle. For me, it's 65, and for you will be the amount that you're working with. So I will meet you here when I have my 65 loops already in my needle. Here I have my 65 loops. Now we're going to pass the tail to the back, and we're going to grab five loops. And we're going to start with one single crochet that we don't going to count each time we start this row, this pattern like that. We don't going to count this first single crochet. We do the single crochet. Now we move our loops. Now we're going to do five single crochet. So, one, two, three, four, and five. And to make sure you will count one, two, three, four, and five. Now you pass the yarn to the back again and grab your next five loops. Take them out. And now if you like, you can remove the rest of the loop from the needle and it'll be easier to work with. One. two, three, four, and five. And like that, we're going to continue working all the way to the end until we have all of them done. So let me move the camera. And in total, we'll have 13 of this motif if you're doing exactly the same amount of um, loops that I'm doing. Like that. Here I finished the first row. I'm gonna end with a piece like that. Now we're gonna repeat what we did in this one. We're gonna do in this one again. I'm gonna pull our loop, pass through there, pull tight, and now you're gonna see the two strands of yarn, the front and the back, and through the back, you're gonna pass and create the next loop. Like that, you're going to repeat this row and one more for a total of three rows. It's going to be exactly the same. And then the fourth row will be different. So I will meet you here after I finish to do this one and another one. And remember, you have to do uh, your 65 loops if you are doing 65 like mine. And inside of each five loops, you have to do five single crochet. So I'll meet you here when I finish those two more rows. Here I finish my third row and four with the one of double crochet. And now we're gonna cast my 65 loops on this needle. And once I have my 65 loops, I will start closing them not with five single crochet but with four so when i have my um, 65 loops in here i will show you how we're gonna cast them off here i have my 65 loops on the needle so i'm gonna grab my five five i'm gonna do the single crochet that i never count Now I'm going to remove my five loops 
and instead of doing five single crochet I'm gonna do four one two three and four now we're gonna grab our next five loops and we're gonna do four single crochet for now and on every um, five loops in every five loops we're gonna do four single crochet on the top we are decreasing one stitch on top of each motif so I will meet you here when I finish this row and remember five loops and four single crochet on top well here I finished my first row of the crease now uh, we start with 65 um, loops or single crochet or double crochet here were 65 stitches in total and since we have 30 motif uh, we remove one uh, stitch for each motif so that was 13 that we remove and now and instead to have 65 we have 52 single crochet on the top now we're gonna cast on those 52 loops on our needle because now instead of 5 we are casting 4 for each motif so we're gonna do that casting on 4 for each one of them so I'll meet you here when I have my 52 stitch on my needle here I have my 52 loops now we're gonna grab our four, four loops We're going to do the single crochet that we never count. Now, and instead of making four single crochet, we're going to make three on top of these four loops. One, two, and three. And now we're going to do the same. Four loops and three single crochet on the top so I will meet you here at the end of this row remember four loops and three single crochet single crochet on top if you see the hat it started to get that narrow shape to the top and now we have 39 single crochet on the top and we're gonna um, cast on another uh, netting needle those 39 loops for me, this is going to be the last row. I'm going to do now the final decrease. Uh, if you're using a thinner yarn, you may have to do another row. So it will be uh, three loops and three single crochet in the top. And then the row after that will be uh, th uh, three loops and one single crochet on the top. But for me, it's going to be now one single crochet on the top because this is the last row. This will be the sixth row with the design, and if you count the row of double crochet, it will be seven. So I only count this one one, two, three, four, five, and this one will be row number six. And now, what we're gonna do is my battery is dying. Grab three loops, do the first single crochet that we don't count and now we're going to do one single crochet grab three more loops and do one single crochet and remember if you are thinner you are using thinner yarn you may have to do one more row of um, three loops and three uh, single crochet on the top so now I just one single crochet on top of the three loops 
because this is just decrease. So I'll meet you here at the end. Here you're going to finish with your hat, the last row like that. And now what we're going to do is chain one and we're going to cut through yarn long enough to close the top and to sew the side. And remember it's better to have extra and not enough to sew or piece. So I'm going to cut a long enough tail. And now we're going to finish our hat. To close our hat we're going to turn it around and we're going to pass the needle through here. All the way to the end and then we're gonna pull and we're gonna close the top of the hat here I pulled the yarn tie enough and what I'm going to do is pass again one more time the needle with the yarn all the way around this small circle and that way it'll stay nice and round on the top and then after we're going to close the side of the hat with very loose stitches to close the hat is very easy we're going to only sew where we did the row of single crochet we're going to grab our yarn with the needle and we're gonna go straight down and we're gonna do this like this and you don't wanna pull your too tight because otherwise it'll be wrinkled there you're gonna just do it when you pull that stitch is the same length as this uh, motif in there okay just like that you're going to come to this side, you're going to pass it through, and you're going to pull, remember, just when you pull, you have to make sure that that one that you put there is the same length as the other one. And then you go back again in a zigzag and sew to the other side again. And make sure that that stitch there is tight that one there. You're going to go back down again make sure that that piece of yarn there or that stitch there is long enough go back again to the other side and do exactly the same that you did for the other one make sure it's the same length you don't want it to be pulling in there and go back again to the other side and make that one tight in there and like that you're going to continue all the way to the end until you finish here and then you will do uh, a knot here and lose those two little tail and then I will show you the finished hat here is the hat I finished sewing it like the back going to be like that that's the seam that you're going to see there. There's not too much that we can do about it, but it looks part of the, of the design, uh, the stitch. You see it more because the color is not exactly the same color as the one, the stitch that's supposed to be there. That's why you see, otherwise you don't be seeing the... If you do this one color, you don't going to be seeing the seam pretty much. Um, it looks really nice and if you like, you can do a pom-pom. I have enough yarn. This was 100 gram, and I have this left. I have enough yarn here to make a pom-pom. I will do one, and I will decide if I'm going to put it on or not, and then I will show you. This is what I'm going to use to make the pom-pom. It's just a piece of cardboard with a hole in the middle, and I'm going to wrap around my yarn all the way around. And you just need a piece of cardboard with a hole in the middle. That way you can pass the, a piece of yarn through the middle, that way you can tie it the middle of the pompon and that's it, it will be cutting and that's it. 
I wrap around all the jar that I have left in there. I just left this piece of tail here. So I'm going to pass it through this side of the hole. And you see how easy it is to make a pom-pom with any piece of cardboard from any cereal box or any cardboard. That is, a, it's got to be a little uh, strong enough. Don't can be too thin. And you pass it through the other side. Make sure that it's in the middle. You tie here a knot very tight, the tightest if you can, on the middle. And then is to cut here and cut there and give the shape that you like for your pom pom. I like mine very fluffy. So I will show you when I finish mine. When you remove the pom pom from the cardboard, you will see that it's shorter in the side than here. What you do now is cut these ones in the middle, the same length as these ones in the side. Okay? So I'm going to do mine off camera and on top of my garbage can so uh, you, I don't have all these bits and pieces all over the place. Here is the pom-pom. It's nice and fluffy. I like it long like this big. I like big pom-poms. I don't know why, but I like them. I found that they look really nice. And what you're going to do is you pass your uh, yarn through here and tie it inside. And that will be the pom-pom and the hat. Now I'll show you the hat without the pom-pom and with the pom-pom. And you decide how you like it. Look how beautiful the hat looks without the pom-pom. And with the scarf, it looks amazing. The set. Now I'm going to show you with, with the pom-pom to see if you like it. To put the pom-pom, what you're going to do is with the, grab the two tails and you're going to pass it through different space in the middle, in the center of the top of the hat. And that way you tighten it through the inside and the pom-pom is staying nice and secure. Well, here is the hat with the pom-pom and look amazing. I love the result of this set. It's very easy to make. Any beginner can make this set. Uh, here I'm going to leave the link in how to make the scarf. And on the video of the scarf, I'm going to leave the link in how to make the hat. Just in case you find one video and you want to do the rest and you don't can find it, you just click on the link and it will bring you there. Well, I hope you give it your thumbs up if you like it. And subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. And have a beautiful day. Bye.